Where do you want me to start? I don't know, man. You're live. You just let me know. Okay. So, uh, Larry with SVS here, and I'm at the Star Wars Expo in Dallas. And what we're showcasing today is basically our whole line of subwoofers and the majority of our speaker line, too. And I'm here with uh, that home theater dude. I don't know if you want to say hi or not. Hey, guys. Uh, what I've got set up back here so you can kind of get an idea of what we're showcasing is I'm showing a 5.1.2 Lobby Apple setup. Utilizing our prime so I got our prime towers, center, other tower, bookshelves are hiding back there behind the projector. And then up above, I've got a pair of prime elevations set up. I lost or actually with a five one of the two set up. And I can toggle between any one of those subwoofers that I've got set up over here. And we'll talk about those guys here in just a second. So if I'm not mistaken, this is one thousand, three thousand. 4,000 and the big boy. Ultra. Yeah. Cool. And then we've got a PC 2000 over here too. So all the subs are represented here in series. Every series we've got on display here and uh, I can toggle between each of them. Then the other thing I'm going to be showing up here is kind of our first retail showing of our prime wireless products. So I've got our sound base amplifier set up here. And we'll talk about that in a minute too, but that's our new multi-room two channel amplifier. And this is a 150 watt by two or two channel lamp, but I've got it connected to our prime bookshelves, showcasing a two channel experience. And then I've also got the SB1000 part of that as well. So I'm doing a 2.1 where I can do Bluetooth off my phone or stream or any streaming service that's part of the DTS Play Fight Network. The other piece we've got set up is our prime wireless stereo pair speakers here. So these are a brand new wireless product that I know you guys have seen the travel with over the last few months. This is our 200 watt, two channel amplified speaker pair. It's 100 watts per channel. They're also on the PlayFi network. And both of the Prime Wireless products, both the sound base and Prime Wireless, I can use once again as a Bluetooth speaker, an optical connection off my television. I can put on my wireless network and stream music from all the various streaming sites that are out there. And I can also do multi room. So there's been other products in this category from other manufacturers who are going to be familiar with. But this is our iteration of this, where I can put a pair upstairs, I can put the amplifier in my garage, and run various things on. You don't have to have one to do the other. That's where some of the fusion comes out. These are their own kind of self-powered ecosystem. This one you use if you don't have speakers, and if you have your own powered speakers that you want to get on your network, you can. Or you can use it as a source component. Meaning I can hook it up to my existing 7 channel or 11 channel surround sound system. I have an analog output from here that I can hook up and bring that existing system onto my multi channel multi channel. Okay, so one thing I was thinking is that one of the main things that I would use this for is that um, a lot of people have, they want to save money and get the 9 channel amplifiers that can process 11 channels um, of actual uh, audio. So if you grab one of these, you can actually add those last pair of yeah, you channels, can go right? From your pre out into here, and this would power that. You just probably have to do a little bit of volume adjustment because it's, in, it's its own independent volume. But that would absolutely work for that. Uh, the other thing you can do with this is if you have a receiver that is capable of DTS play fly and want to do multi channel surround sound but maybe can't run rear surround, you can utilize either the powered speakers as a rear channel or you can utilize the sound base to power some speakers you may have in the back as well. That's a really cool aspect of setting up wireless surround sound. That's cool, man. So let's go ahead and jump in this demo then. Awesome. So what we're going to play for you is some clips from uh, Ready Player One. And you guys have seen, this is one that we've kind of grown very fond of. It's a good race scene at the very beginning of the track. And we're going to play it on the 5.1.2 setup with the SB3000 here. So let me step out of the way and we will hit play. Oh, I didn't mean to rhyme. So nah, he was... rhymed. Thumbs up.
Paige, are you seeing this? That's the nigger's bark from the cure. So why is it still over scared of Frank? No, not the bike. Forget the bike. The girl. I think it's Artemis. The Artemis? The sensor fixer? I've seen all the walkthroughs. The twin streams? It's her. It's World's first, you heard that right here, guys. So the cool thing is, is everyone talks about price, everyone talks about size, everyone talks about all that stuff. So I mean, uh, really, this thing, you get a lot of the lessons learned from the 4000 and the Ultra Series that, they get, that these guys launched in the last couple of years. So you get an amazing space savings on this one. I didn't realize that this was the new model whenever I first came up. He had the grill on and everything and he took it off. I thought it was just a standard 2000 series. But I mean, the space, savings, the, the space savings that you get on this thing is amazing, especially if you know, you're worried about the wife in the house and she's like, oh, you can't have the huge one. Uh, it's gonna take up too much space. Um, you know, then, and that's a lot of reason why people go to these, the cylinder type ones. So that's really cool. 
So one, you're getting the space savings, two, you're getting the weight savings. So if you ever have to move or shuffle things around the house or clean, then this thing is a little easier on your back and uh, <laughs> uh, the rest of your joints too. So yeah, I mean, I'm really excited about actually checking these things out. It's really cool to, to be one of the first people to uh, demo one of these things. And let me know what you guys think. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video short here and then keep recording. Uh, for you guys and then I'll post the rest of stuff up a little later, but I just wanted to go live to let you guys know uh, It's me that home theater dude plus hashtag the Larry. We're here at <laughs> Hashtag the Larry. We're here at a uh, SBS or we're here at Star Power Expo 2018 Dallas So you guys ever get a chance to make it out to one of these highly recommend it There's gonna be lots of different vendors that you guys can actually check out and debut all this stuff This is where this, this exact room was where it all started for me in my SBS <laughs> journey because I met this guy in February and I was blown away by their, their ultra system. And now my entire house is set up with all the ultra set up. So um, it really depends on uh, if, if you're open to suggestions or not. I had a full clip set up back then. I mean, no one's perfect, but uh, <laughs> I went ahead and made the, uh, the leap. So that's it, guys. I'll get my go I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Check you out next time. Later, guys. How's it going? Good. Larry Tonko.